Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss types of shear failure. So first, we will see the definition of foundation. Foundation is the connecting link between superstructure and ground, as it transmits the weight of structure to the ground. Foundation is required to distribute the load of the superstructure over a larger area to reduce the pressure on the soil below its allowable bearing pressure. Failure of foundation causes if following one of the following condition occur. First condition is soil below the foundation will fail in shear or Second condition is structure will settle beyond its permissible limit. There are again following types of shear failure. The first type is general shear failure. Second type is local shear failure. And third type is punching shear failure. So first type of failure is general shear failure. Here in the first week figure, we can see a general shear failure of a steep footing. And the second figure indicates the load settlement curve for the general shear failure. This type of failure occurs in a dense sand or steep clays. At a certain load intensity, QU, the settlement increases suddenly. So here in load settlement curve also, we can see that once the load is reached to the value of QU, there is sudden increase in settlement. The failure surface is extended to the ground surface, indicating fully developed failure plane. Heaves on the both sides are observed. So, at the failure point, the soil below the foundation will move in this pattern and it will reach the ground surface. So the hills on the sides of the foundation is observed. The second type of failure is local shear failure. Here the first figure indicates the local shear failure of a steep footing. And the second figure indicates the load settlement curve for the failure. So local shear failure occurs in a soil of medium consistency like dense sand or stiff clays. Sudden jerks are observed at a certain load QU1 and at this point soil is supposed to be failed. But failure surface extends towards the ground and outwards but it doesn't reach the ground surface and no heaves are observed at this load. With further increase in load, a certain load, at a certain load QU, when a considerable amount of movement will occur, the failure surface will reach the ground and heaves will be obtained. So, in the local shear failure, the movement of the soil will be outward and towards the surface, but it won't reach the surface at the failure. For the soil to reach the surface and heaves to be formed, a considerable amount of settlement is required. The third type of shear failure is punching shear failure. So here the first figure shows the punching shear failure of a stiff footing. And the second figure shows the load settlement curve for the punching shear failure. This type of failure occurs in loose sand or soft clays. Sudden jerks are observed at particular load QU1. With further increase in load at a particular load say QU, footing fails as load settlement curve becomes stiff. So here we can see that after load QU, the load settlement curve has become stiffer. Since the failure surface doesn't reach the ground, no heaves are observed. So there is only vertical movement of the foundation due to failure.
थैंक यू